word says in Psalm 107 20, I have sent forth my word to heal them from after their future. And as you send forth your word, your word shall not, will not, cannot come back void in the name that is above every other name. Father, we thank you as we commit this family into your hands, as we place them on your holy mount, Zion, where there shall be deliverance. And the house of the Jacob shall possess their possessions. Lord God Almighty, let your light shine upon these children. Let your glory shine upon these children. Lord God Almighty, as you change Joseph's story, change their story in the name that is above every other name. Change their story in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, your glory shall shine. Your kingdom shall come. And your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. That's why we come before you who has enough. You who can't do more than enough. Oh, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, the many-breasted one. For William in this season is the healer. So just climb up forever,
place before I thank you. I want to thank each and everyone. People from Reading, God bless you. People from Conventry, God bless you. Let us see people from Conventry. God bless you. People from Oxford. People from Reading. People from Reading. And people from London. God bless you for coming and support us. You have shown us love. But I want to take this opportunity before, before I say anything to thank my church, Libat Church, Libat members, Libat, what can I say? God bless you. There is another time when William will be completely total healed. Amen. And we will be here just to find the goodness of God. I want to tell you what God told me as soon as I found out that my, her, my son had cancer. I was crying to God, asking many questions, and then God told me one thing. Do you want to hear what God told me? Yes. He told me that my daughter, it's not about William, but called mothers to cry out together for, their, for your children. Yeah. Allow me to all come, William, who are gonna do different things. Who is going to surprise you anyway? Just now, <laughs> Um, It's funny because every time people see me, they're like, aren't you supposed to be sick? <laughs> and to be honest, I don't even blame them because like, you know, you hear cancer, you, you just think, you know, someone's in a wheelchair, and they're still like, you know, in bed, they can't move. Then you see me, and I'm playing guitar, I'm at Oprah night. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's definitely all the grace of God. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm just glad that we're able to come together to just um, pray. Because even though I know, at first I was thinking about this prayer and I, I was thinking, I, I was basically thinking it doesn't make sense. Because I was thinking I'm fine, I already know I'm healed, like, there's no point in this. I was thinking about it, I was thinking about it, I was like, just because I know I'm healed doesn't mean we shouldn't pray, should we take God for granted and stuff. And I was thinking, do you know what, maybe this is a good idea. Then that's when I found that verse, um, the one about, Oh yeah, you must also help us in prayer so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted us through the praise of many. So it's through the praise of many that people, that, that God is glorified because then people see that we fall as a body of God, you know, for these things. If you just keep quiet and then I'm healed, then nobody will know what happened basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My mom was saying, oh, William has a great surprise for you. <laughs> To be honest, I don't think it's that big, but yeah, whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna sing a quick song. <laughs> great and mighty is our God. Great and mighty is our God. Sing great and mighty, great and mighty. 